What do Metroid, Breath of the Wild, Minecraft, and Monkey Island all have in common? Turns out not much, until now. Indie developer Image and Form have managed to merge some of the best of every adventure genre into this fantastic Steam World Dig 2. The game is a direct sequel to Steam World Dig, where you played as the charming Rusty, a mining robot who loved himself some treasure. This time around, you play as his loyal friend, Dorothy McCrank, whose mission is to find the missing Rusty. Throughout this adventure, you will find yourself spelunking through caves, digging up treasure, and upgrading your equipment to uncover the mysteries of the caves beneath the town of El Machino. So what does this game do right? Well, if you're a fan of the original, you will quickly find yourself at right at home with the dig, collect, sell, upgrade nature of the game. But Dig 2 has managed to make this process more addicting than ever. At first, when I sat down with the task of describing why this game has hit the perfect note, I found it difficult. However, as I thought about it, I realized the core principle that continued to drive me forward was the same alluring nature of the Game of the Year contender, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In Zelda, a player is tasked with adventuring across a wide open environment and using the clues of the environment to solve puzzles and find mini dungeons called shrines. This is echoed in the cave system of SteamWorld Dig 2, where the path you dig will dictate the ease of your adventure and what secrets you may find. This feels incredibly rewarding and manages to make the game fun even when you only have 15 minutes to dig. Another aspect it has managed to borrow and repurpose in a meaningful way is the element of Metroid. Throughout the game you will find many ability stations that will grant you new abilities or exciting twists on abilities you already have. As you gather these new tools and venture deeper, you will notice that certain trial caves will become easier or areas you were previously unable to access will now be available to you. Additionally, there is a very in-depth upgrade system that can be purchased with money acquired by the sale of rare minerals and gems found throughout the mines. These upgrades can have game-changing impacts, but for the most part, they will simply make the game more fun to traverse. For me, this kept me constantly coming back for more and flying through to the appropriately satisfying conclusion. I won't spoil anything in this review, but the final boss is equally parts fun and challenging, and how thorough you were will determine some of that success. Now for the parts that it doesn't quite nail. Don't worry, this section will be quite short. First, this game is fairly short. It took me approximately 9.5 hours to finish the game with an overall 66% completion. While this is actually longer than the first game, it is a bit of a disappointment since the game is handcrafted and not procedurally generated like Dig 1. Secondly, I feel like some of the smaller bosses are not as memorable or as unique as they could have been. With that said, the game is wonderful and I will be playing it for a long while, still hunting down every last gem and secret until I 100% complete it. This is why I'm awarding SteamWorld Dig 2 with a score of 10 out of 10. I believe that while it's not perfect, it accomplishes one extremely important thing that many games don't. It's ridiculously fun. <laughs>